When Paris is threatened, she calls upon three young heroes to save the day. Ladybug, Cat Noir, and Rena Rouge. Together, this crime-fighting trio uses the power of the miraculous to thwart evil and save the day. Thanks to the gratuitous family fortune of the bourgeois estate, the trio has settled into a new headquarters, a lavish suite high above the streets of Paris, where utilities are paid for and drama is guaranteed. These are the adventures of The Miraculous. again. Oh, really? That's not fair. We stopped that bank heist fair and square. This is bull. What do we have to do to get some attention around here? I mean, we saved the day I don't know how many times. You know, this city is overlooking us. Well, maybe it's because of me. No, no, no. no. It's just a weird climate for superheroes these days. Yeah, you know, we just changed members a lot recently, and the whole <laughs> Chloe thing, you know, it's just got people shaken up. You know, maybe we need some positive PR in our life, you know? Uh, put a good spin on the new Miraculee. Yeah, well, what should we do? Hire a PR firm? Nah. I got a better idea. Ladybug, I'm sure you are all too familiar with my publicist. But Rena, I'd like to introduce you to the woman who made me adored in the public eye, Grace Miller! Grace Miller, looking ravishing as ever. Oh, you're too kind. Miss Miller, I know you know Ladybug, but allow me to introduce you to our newest member, Rena Rouge. Rena, darling, it's a pleasure to finally meet. I've heard so much about you. Oh, uh, only good things, I hope. Right. Anyway, to what do I owe the pleasure, cat darling? Grace. We're in a bit of a pickle. Oh? Well, I think our little group needs something of a, an image overhaul. See, we've had a bit of bad press recently, and I was thinking maybe we should try something new, something fresh. You don't say. Well, you're in luck, darling. I might have just the thing you're looking for. Yeah, well, what did you have in mind? A pep rally? A commercial? A publicity stunt? Producer, and he's been looking for the next big television show. What? Oh no, we've done the television thing before. Yeah, it uh, didn't work out too great for us. No, no, this wouldn't be a reality show. This would be a scripted comedy, all about you guys. Uh, I don't know. It could get the public invested in you guys again. Put a positive spin on superheroes in general. Well, we could always use the good press. Yeah, maybe get us in some positive light. Ah, oh, what the heck? Uh, let's give it a shot. Perfect. I'll call him up right now. See if we can get something on the paper. Bye, darlings. Whoa, that soon? Listen, Grace, I don't know if that's such... Hello? Who's there? Is that the Miraculeague I see? Uh, yeah. Hello. I don't believe it. My eyes must be playing tricks on me. The triumphant trio right here before my very eyes. Oh, and boy, do I have an opportunity for you. Uh, you don't say. Uh, how rude of me. I haven't even introduced myself. The name's Eddie Alonzo, producer, director, talent agent, and media specialist. Uh, cool? Trust me, baby, you don't even know cool yet, because I've got a brand new television series that I know you're gonna love. And here's the kicker, kiddos. You're the stars! Yeah, so we've been told. What exactly is it that you had in mind? 
sweetheart, trust me. Comedy is my middle name. In a superhero sitcom starring the Miracle League, we'll get the television ratings up and your approval rating through the roof. All you gotta do is sign this contract and we can shoot the pilot. Not to mention, you'll earn some buku bucks along the way. So we'll get to star in this thing? Like real actors? Oh, no, 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 no way! I wouldn't want to take time away from your superhero duties. We'll make a replica set and make everything as authentic as possible. But you'll get paid the big bucks just for letting us use your likeness. So, what do you say? I don't know, this sounds sketchy. Yeah, but we could really use the good press. Yeah, not to mention the money. I'm broke as butt out here. Hmm. Fine. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, why not? What the heck? All right, Eddie. We're in. Beautiful. Let's get to work. Psst. Hey, it's nobody special here. If you haven't done it already, go ahead and mash that like button, leave a comment, and of course, subscribe to our channel. And make sure you click that little bell down here so you're notified when we do new stuff. Also, if you're interested in seeing any of this stuff early, be sure to check out Nobody Special Shuffle, a compilation of your favorite Nobody Special content that debuts every Friday here on Nobody Special. All right, back to the show. I wasn't here. Oh, I can't believe it. Our premiere. This is gonna be insane. Oh shit, it's starting. Why are we 
we gonna do? The bomb's going to detonate in 20.42 seconds. I done it. Did you cut the blue wire, Cat Noir? Blue? I thought you said red. <laughs> This is ridiculous. I'm calling Eddie. Right behind you. Same. The Miracle League, babies! You are stars! The ratings are pouring in. How are you enjoying the first episode? We hate it. Yeah, you make us look like a bunch of idiots. What? Now that's just show business, baby. We took a couple of the uh, creative liberties here and there, uh, but I think the end result is pretty authentic, huh? Authentic my butt. You'd better take this off the air right now. Oh, what? You signed a contract, baby. All of you. I've got you down for 12 more episodes of America's new favorite sitcom. So you'd better just get used to it. Listen, Eddie, please. Th this is not what we agreed to. You took advantage of us. Hey, cry me a river, why don't you? Welcome to Hollywood, baby. What I say goes. You had better take this show off the air or I'll... Oh, you what? Sue me? <laughs> I run this town. Hey, you can't just... Sayonara, baby. What a jerk. He set us up and there's nothing we can do about it but suffer through who knows how many awful seasons of this terrible show. This is a nightmare. I thought Grace Miller was supposed to help us, but now we're worse off than we were. Ladybug, you're a genius. Grace Miller's office, Grace Miller speaking. Hey, Grace, it's me. Cat darling, how I've missed that handsome face. How are you? Uh, not so good. Oh. Eddie Alonzo set us up. Huh? He turned us into a laughing stock with a stupid show. He did what? And now that he's made us out to look like fools, he's refusing to take the show off the air. What? He's ruining our public image. <sighs> Cat babe, don't you worry about a thing. I'll put one of my guys on it. What? So that's it? That little lady's supposed to be able to help us somehow? Just wait. For what? There's no way she could possibly... Cat, baby! I, uh, so sorry about the mix-up. I, uh, I, I promise I'll take the show off the air immediately, right? Yeah. That's what I thought. Oh, cat, baby, uh, please put in a good word for me for Grace Miller, all right? Yeah, please. Mmm, I don't know. Uh, please, Cat, please! Eh, I'll think about it. Uh, Cat, wait, baby, no, no, please! Oh, God! What just happened? Heck hath no fury like Grace Miller scorned. Hey there, folks. We hope you loved this week's episode. And if you loved Linda Lee Rose as Grace Miller as much as we do, then why don't you check out her channel? She's got all sorts of awesome Ladybug coverage, among a bunch of other projects that we know you're going to love. She has all sorts of connections to the cast and crew of Ladybug. She is just a wonderful human being with an awesome channel, and you have got to check it out.